guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I clean my beauty blenders. Um, it's a very easy, easy, easy concept and I do it all using this black of Zote soap. I don't know if it's Zote or Zote or Zote, I'm not sure. But it does an awesome, awesome job at cleaning beauty blenders. I actually learned about this soap from Amy Macedo. I hope that's how you say your name. I'm sorry, girl. So she did a video on how she does her beauty blenders or how she cleans her beauty blenders, and she used this block of soap, and it smells so amazing, and it's really, really cheap on Amazon, and it lasts forever. So this little bad boy right here, and it's huge. This is what I use to clean my beauty blenders. By the way, I teach you guys how to get this lip color in my How To Do Metallic Lipstick tutorial. So if you would like to learn how to do this, I have a video on it. And you can go check it out if you would like. So I will link Amy's channel in the down bar below so you can check it out. Go tell her that I send you to check out her channel. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's that red button down there. And it's free. And you'll never miss another one of my videos. I also have a Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Periscope, and Twitter. They are also at Beauty by Josie K. So you'll never forget me. If you would like to learn how I cleaned all of these, keep watching. All right, you're gonna need some paper towel and this Zote laundry soap and some dirty beauty blenders. So we're gonna start in by just kind of soaking some water into the sponge because you need it wet to clean it. So then you just rub it around the Zote soap all over the beauty blender. Make sure it's highly saturated with the soap before you start to try and work the product out. So make sure you get the point of the beauty blender, the base, and all the sides. And then once you are done with that, you're going to move on and just kind of rub the beauty blender with a lot of pressure, but make sure you don't poke it with anything sharp like your nails or maybe an edge on your nail or a ring because beauty blenders are very easy to damage. Once you have worked out all of the gunk from the surface, you're going to go in a second time and really work it into the middle of the beauty blender or as far as you can go. Be sure when you're rinsing it to make sure that you are fully saturating it with water and then fully squeezing it out a couple times before you put it away to dry. And then once you are done with rinsing your beauty blender out, you are going to put it on something that can soak up excess water. So like a paper towel, like I showed you in the beginning, or a regular towel. Or if you're just doing this as a daily thing, you can wash your beauty blender every day before you do your makeup. So that is one beauty blender down, and I think I have four or five more to go. So I'm just going to speed through all of these washings so that the video isn't 20 minutes long. When I close my eyes, I can only 